Hi, this is a tutorial on how to pass in carbs section vignette. What I typically do to get started, I draw the grade line and I draw it right at the section marker. Then I start dropping in foundations with footing. And I put those at each one of these bearing walls. And I just throw it in quickly and then we can zoom in and place it more accurately. Okay, then once I've placed them in, I can zoom in using the zoom tool and I can use move adjust to place that ground, ground plane more accurately and also to adjust these footings so that they're more accurate. Um, footings should be, according to our program, five foot in depth. So I, I look at the bottom left of my screen and I can see that says five feet. And you can draw a sketch rectangle also to, to test this. So that's one foot seven by five feet. Now, some people actually draw it so that the top of the footing is at five feet. Either method is acceptable. Let's go ahead and do the top of the footing to be safe. Do the same thing for the other two footings. Move it to there and adjust it so that it is six feet in depth because that is an acceptable method. And use the move adjust tool to adjust six, six, six feet. Okay, next thing we do is we draw in our bearing walls. So let's find bearing walls. Um, duct, slab on grade, foundation with footing, exterior bearing to walls. So you can just drop those in and pull them up just like so and we can adjust those at a later time. Okay, so just grab them and align them with your your plan. Just like so. Okay. And the height will adjust as we start to place things. Let's put our slab on grade in there as well. And just pull the cross. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this with the slab on grade. Definitely want to have it on grade. You don't want to have it below grade like this. You want to have it on top of the grade. Now, some people like to have their grade, their slab like this with their wall on top of it, though I recommend just doing this like that. On the center, foundation wall and uh, bearing wall you can actually just have the slab run through it there's no need to break it in carb doesn't grade against you for doing that and in here let's just bring it all the way to the edge just like that okay next if we look at our program um, our our laboratory has a 15 foot ceiling height so let's go ahead and draw in a ceiling a finished ceiling in there I'm just going to drop it in just kind of like so and I'm going to use a sketch rectangle and I'm going to draw some a rectangle that's 15 feet high so I'll, so I know where to place that ceiling at and then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use the move adjust tool to make sure things are uh, aligned properly and that this is 15 feet in height then I'm going to snap this down like that and adjust the ceiling so it meets the walls Okay, so now we know that ceiling is at 15 feet in height per the program. Now we need to look at our layer tool. We need to turn on layer, uh, the floor two layers, so we can look at that that laboratory space. We can see that there are some eight by eight ducts that are getting cut through, one here, one here, and rent one here, and also that we have a 20 inch deep maximum. Duct. So our, our deepest duct in this area is 20 inches. So that needs to be our like overall duct space. But the ducts are actually getting cut through that we want to show in the in the section are only eight by eight. So let's go ahead and draw some eight by eight ducts, eight inches by eight inches. Just drop it in there, eight inches. Drop it in, eight inch. Okay. Okay. Now let's zoom in. 
and we need to provide a 8 inch space above the ceiling in all areas for uh, clearance for light fixtures. So I usually draw a sketch rectangle and and that that's our clearance. Next I turn on ortho and the cursor so make sure everything's lining up. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, undo that. Um, use the move group tool and you can you can grab your uh, your duct and line it up with uh, I'll use the move adjust tool actually that works a little better line it up with the with the duct below and it just needs to be anywhere within that 20 inch deep space um, so the, yeah the next thing I often do is I'll just go ahead and sketch a a rectangle that's 20 inch 20 inches deep so one foot eight and I'll snap it Oops. we can undo that I'm going to use the zoom tool to get in a little bit closer to make sure everything's nice and tight okay so I'm going to snap that down a little bit so that's eight inches and then this needs to be this upper rectangle needs to be 20 inches, one foot eight. Okay, so what that again represents is the maximum depth of duct in that area. So you go from this uh, mechanical room, this vertical riser, and you see okay, the maximum there is 20 inches deep, 24 wide, but 20 inches deep. So that's our our area that needs to be uh, open. Next, we need to draw some joists in there. You can see here that there. Are Five foot centered, 32 inch deep joists, and they're cut through, so they're in section. So draw uh, joists in section, 32 inches, 60 inch spacing, which is five foot center, or uh, yeah, five foot centers. And you just want to kind of just draw them in like that, and we'll zoom in, and we'll we'll, we'll clean it up. Now it's very important on this vignette to always uh, get things as tight as they can be. You want to be as, as efficient as possible in your design. That's all they're really looking for. So you don't want to have extra space in your plenum. You want to have it as tight as it, it's allowed. So I'm bringing it all the way to the bottom there. So we're, we're only providing the 8 inches that's required, the 20 inches that's required, and then the depth of the joist that's required. Next you want to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You want to take use the move adjust tool and align these with the actual joist that's getting cut through and plan so that it's it lines up. Next thing you want to do is just kind of go to the edges and since this is in section, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to overlap um, at the at the uh, the block wall, the bearing wall, but you could have a little bit of overlap just so the deck has some place to to rest on. So maybe just a click or two. So here I'm going to do a, a click or two. We'll do a little bit more where we actually have a joist bearing on the partition or on the uh, load bearing wall. Okay, so that's what the basic idea is for the rest of the building. So let's move on to the lower level um, area over here. Okay, so we know that per the program it is an 8 foot 4 ceiling. So let's zoom into that area and go ahead and draw a ceiling plane in at 8 foot 4. And I use a sketch rectangle and I just go ahead and make it 8 foot 4 tall and then I'll use a drawing and I'll hit finish ceiling and I'll move it all the way across and then you can use the move adjust tool to clean it up a little bit if you need to okay that looks about right next we need to make sure we've left a space for for uh, light fixtures which is 8 inches for the program. Next let's take a look at the actual plan and see what's happening in that area. Okay, at this level, which by the way we need to make sure we're on level one, 
we are cutting through a duct, an 8 by 8 duct. Um, you know, actually that's a 24 by 16 duct that we're cutting through. Uh, it becomes 8 by 8 after it splits here. And a uh, 12 by 8 duct. We're also cutting through a corridor wall and a closet wall. The corridor wall, per the program, needs to be fire rated. So let's go ahead and draw that in. This is really important to draw this fire rated partition and draw it all the way to structure. So we're going to draw that up there and we'll adjust it once we draw in our structure. Oops. Let's move that out of the way. This is just our uh, uh, 8 foot clearance. Sometimes it makes sense to to have these out of the way just so that there's less things as you as, as you uh, click on things that you that get in your way. Okay, that's the next draw our interior partition and this is just this closet partition and that only needs to go um, six inches above the ceiling. So eight foot three, bring that up to eight to about oops, ceiling is at eight five, so bring that up to about nine feet and you should be good. And move that over. I like to zoom in. Sometimes you have to hit zoom twice, one to zoom out and then once to hit zoom back in. But there we are, we've accounted for now our non-rated partition and our rated partition. Next we want to take a look at drawing our uh, our ducts. And we had a 12 by 8 duct that we're cutting through, so let's do uh, 12 by 8. And let's place that right up in there and we'll adjust after a while here. And our other duct was a 24 by 16. So let's zoom into this region over here and draw our duct. It's 24 inches wide by 16 inches deep. And again, this needs to be clear of the, the 8 inches uh, for the light fixture. So just drop it in there. Now we know also from looking back at this mechanical room that deepest portion was 24 inches, right? There's no other deeper ducts on this level deeper than 24 inches. So we know that that's going to be our our duct, I guess you'd call it like a duct plenum or free area for our duct. So let me use some, it looks like I'm a little bit off there. I'm going to use a move adjust tool. Make sure we get that 8 inches. Yeah, we do. Okay, next we want to use a sketch tool and use a rectangle. Let's just go ahead and it needs to be 24 inches tall, just like that and we can move this over if we need to. The, oops, I'm going to use the undo tool because I accidentally drew a rectangle in there. Use the move adjust tool. Okay, so now that's our like our duct plenum. All of our ducts need to be within that space and they are, so we're okay. And the ducts are lining up with the ducts and how they're cut in section. Uh, or the plan is, they're, they're aligning with the plan ducts center to center, so that's the way we want them. Okay, next we want to go ahead and put in our Joist. So let's see what joists we're getting cut through at this area. Uh, we are cutting through 24 inch deep joists at two foot centers and they're in elevation. These are in section, the ones we'll draw in are in elevation. So we go to joists with deck elevation, 24 inch joists, and we will go ahead and just drop them in. And let's zoom in and we'll clean it up a little bit. Okay, use the move adjust tool. What I typically do here is just one, two, maybe three clicks in. No more than halfway. Halfway would be max. I do a little bit shy of halfway. And then I'll use the move adjust tool and I'll get it as tight as possible to that, that rectangle I created for the twenty four the top of the twenty four inch joist rectangle I created here. So this rectangle right here should align with the bottom of those joists. Okay. This is a good place to stop. I'll see you on the next video. We'll continue this one on the next video.